Um, have you ever been on WikiFeet? No. But you're familiar with WikiFeet, right? No, I'm not. You don't know what that is? No. They like take celebrity feet and rank them out of 10. Out of 10 being the best. Yeah, like 10 being the best. Here, like, if, let me give me a celebrity and I'll see if their feet are or, or, on. Do you know like who has the best feet? No clue. Probably Uma Thurman. <laughs> what? <laughs> It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Do you ever look in the mirror and practice your smile? No, because I'm not a psychopath, Joker. No, I'm like, practice my smile for pictures. Not just like (laughs) with people. I know I smile with people, but for like pictures, it's always so difficult. No, I don't practice smiles. I practice other faces, maybe. Can you... Expand on that, please. Like, what does that mean? I don't know. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> I don't look at myself smiling, but sometimes I try to, like, catch my eyes, like, looking. You know what I mean? Catch your <laughs> eyes looking? Wait, sorry. Are you trying to, like, beat your reflection? You're trying to you're trying to look into the mirror before you actually make eye contact with yourself. Now, that's psychopathic. <laughs> that's actually very worrisome. <laughs> That is terrifying. You're trying to look at yourself faster than your reflection? I don't know. I'm trying to break into the mirror world. It's... I'm trying to catch him. You know, like, and he's like, ah, <laughs> ah, gotcha. Gotcha, mirror me. Gotcha. Well, it's a bunch of light waves just reflecting off of each other. I don't think you could beat the speed of light. You don't know. I'm going to tell you right you now. You don't know. Sometimes my eyes move very fast. <laughs> Not faster than your reflection self. Well, I mean, you didn't take physics. You don't know. Uh, I've taken a lot of physics, and it I know. I know exactly. Well, this is... is this Would, would you consider beating the mirror physics? No, that's more of a... That's a high thought, dude. <laughs> that is something when you're messed up. You know, one of the most like high that I've ever been oh. was like... Um, my cousin had a, a pen when I was living in college, mm-hmm. and... I wasn't really into the whole pen game, the whole vape game. So you tried writing with it, and you're like, why doesn't this quill work? <laughs> Whoa, I'm sorry, I broke your pen. <laughs> but I would take a puff. I'd be like, mm, I'm not feeling it yet. Took a few more, and I walked away from the kitchen where we were using it and into my bedroom, and I was trying to go to the gym at my complex, and I was stuck in my room for like 30 minutes. I was like, what am I, what am I doing here? Who, who am I? I think I spent the most time just looking in the mirror. And that's, a, that's a horrible thing. Well, I mean, like sometimes they say, like when you do like super trippy hallucinogenics, like cover up, cover up the mirrors. Really? Because you'll get lost in a mirror, buddy. Because you're, is it a in a bad way or in it, a good way? It, I, it could lead to a bad thing. I don't even think it's worth trying. I mean, I don't know. It just depends on what kind of space you're in at the time, huh? Not even because imagine like looking at a mirror and then like your your face. What if you catch the mirror person not looking? <laughs> okay, I think if you're actually on mushrooms, that might be an only possibility. Or if you like realize you're a vampire and you're like walking in front of a mirror, but you have no reflection, you're like, oh, that'd be what? so scary. I think I would have the, a bad trip if that were the case. That's just a bad day, period. Mm-hmm. Like if it's, uh, are there trick mirrors out there? Is that possible? Mm-hmm. With computers and stuff now, there has to be some sort of possibility. That would be so trippy to like make a mirror that reflects everything in your room. Except Except yourself. And your clothes are just like floating there? Mm. Oh, okay. So (laughs) this is a haunted house that we're making. I think we're writing the script for Invisible Man. I think that's what... Have you seen that movie? The new one? Yeah, I have. I have. Really good. Ah! You didn't like it? I like the original one because it was funny. I mean, the original of almost everything is going to be better. But this one... Because it stars the girl that's from uh, Mad Men and from... A Handmaid's Tale. Yes. And she did great. And I was watching some behind the scenes stuff of her Which just getting like, thrown, thrown around. Against the wall. Yeah. yeah, man. Very scary. Very mm-hmm. scary. Um, um, if you could turn invisible, okay. What's the first thing you would do? Um, if I was in middle school, I'm pretty sure it'd be all. <laughs> I think everything you see in every single teen movie, like just trying to sneak up on someone well, changing. But I'm a more mature and, and uh, but moral also, man, but and also, I'm not going to do that. Sneaking into the locker room is kind of gross. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> you're just going to see them like taking shits. Or like changing clothes and like putting on your like it's not as it's not like a 1970s movie as you think it is right. It's not as embellished and as fantasized yeah. as it is in those raunchy uh, comedies. <laughs> no way, dude. No. Um. Honestly, I go to like a bank or something. 
You go to a bank? I'm just like grabbing money. Really? They're going to see some floating cash, though. Yeah, but what are they going to do? They're probably going to shoot at the invisible man and you'll die. <laughs> Nobody's going to think, hmm, that's probably an invisible man. Or they're going to try to push whatever the entity is. I think they'd be so scared. They'd be like, oh, my God, there's a ghost. Maybe that. Okay, that might be like the first possibility. Like, knock a couple things over and they're like, that was weird. And then like write a note and be like, you will die and you are a baby. And then people will be like, no. That's the first thing you would do. I don't know if you should ever be invisible then. I don't want to be invisible. I like to be in center of attention. Uh, yeah, because it doesn't work for narcissism. No, no. I want to be seen. <laughs> I want to be validated. Now, if I could fly, mm. now that would be a cool power. I think, of course, that would definitely be very fun. Would you rather be able to fly or swim underwater? Mm. Like without like breathe, oh, like, breathe okay. underwater, like Aquaman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> actually, obtain the ability of swimming. Would you rather be like an eight-year-old boy at a pool or, or Superman? Or Superman. Oh no, no. Let me think about that. Eight-year-old boy in a pool. Why the hell not? Uh, definitely flying. Um, I'm curious if we're ever gonna get to the point where we're gonna have flying vehicles. Like that's a joke. Well, no, we have flying vehicles, sir. Um, no, we're it's easily accessible. Instead of, I mean, obviously cars, I feel will always exist, yeah. but like the higher, like a jetpack or something, jet not necessarily like in oh. the Jetsons. Oh yeah, yeah, that kind <laughs> of <laughs> like where the common mode of transportation is airborne, mm. right? And like traffic can possibly exist in, in the air. sky. I don't know. I that sounds really shitty. Why would traffic sucks? Why don't we have to put it in the sky too? <laughs> you think there'd be enough room in the sky yeah. for there to not be traffic? No, nope. we have to all drive on a freeway <laughs> in the sky, sit there for hours when you could just like. <laughs> there is a meme that Alan was telling me about. He said that it's only in the Bay Area and probably LA that you still try to go from point A to point B, the same commute all the time, but we always check google maps to see how long that commute is because yeah, sure. traffic is unpredictable here who knows what's happening yeah the other day we were driving um and there was just like cars all over the road yeah some were breaking that's the fucking bay area it's too many cars um i want to pivot a little bit because i want to talk about what we did last night <gasps> no don't tell them no, we have to tell them. I, All right, and Christian it's, finally kissed me. It was crazy, and his lips were chapped, and I'm never doing it again. Nah, dude. Well, I did eat a lot of onions. Let's 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 tell the baddies. We went to our very first open mic night since oh. before the pandemic. It felt like almost ever. It's um, and I hit you up so last minute. It was crazy. I was in pajamas and everything already, and I was like, nope, better put some real pants on. And is it? It's so difficult to just get over that first hump of hesitation right i'm still feeling it but aren't you glad that we did it yeah i mean i had a good time like I, we were totally unprepared very very but so was everybody there mm -hmm. kind of it was i really like that venue you know what helped though what we had a very um big crowd <laughs> by the time we got up there was two people in the audience one of which was falling asleep because she was so drunk yes so um, well, because we were numbers 16 and 17 on the list. Of like 19, 20 people. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And so like, <laughs> it's I don't know what the etiquette is when you go to an open mic. Do you stay? How long do you stay to watch other comics after your own set? I, I mean, I see a lot of people not stay at all. They just dip out. They just... Maybe that's why people want to get like early sign, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. sign up so that they could hit up other mics, right? Exactly. Man. Um, but let's tell them about... <laughs> Okay, baddies, we did not do your conventional set. I did not go up there and do a, a, a tight three or five. No, no, for whatever reason, and this is nothing against our friend, but for whatever reason, they're like, why don't you guys go up there together? <laughs> and I was like, uh. Because he was trying to save some time because it was getting late. Oh, is that what it was? I thought that's what you told me. I mean, I, that's what would make sense. With speculation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, here we are up there together, Christian doing a couple minutes while I sit on a bench behind Specifically, him. Specifically, he asked me to do two minutes by, by myself, Yeah, us do a minute, a minute together, together, and, and then, then you do two, two minutes? minutes. <laughs> and it just turned into like us doing a stand-up set with a laughing person right next to us. Yes, that's all it was. We were just looking at each other, <laughs> do each other's huh? sets. Well, because they called us up at the same time. Yes. I thought I would go up by myself, Yes, and then you would join me on stage after two minutes. I mean, I believe we were under the same assumption. Yes. 
And but instead we were both there just sharing one mic. <laughs> That wasn't that loud. <laughs> and then the cord came out as well. I am a puppet in my car, but Christian told me not to bring it. And now I can't do my magic tricks. Oh! You think it might be the mic? You don't have to do it. It's only you. It's only you. No one in this bar wants to hear us. Nobody. This is. Comedy, guys. This is how you do comedy. This is yeah. what happens when we're late for the sign up sheet because I have to buy cocaine. The most ghetto set that possibly could have occurred. So I spoke directly into the wire. Mm. Well, you spoke into the unplugged microphone. <laughs> and that's how our stand up set went, pretty much, guys. Um, we did a little bit of crowd work with that drunk girl. The guy right after us talked hella shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even hear. Yeah. He was just like, okay, aren't we glad that's over? <laughs> Yikes, I didn't even hear him. Um, it was it was fun though. Yeah. And it was an experience and it was just nice to get up on stage. And we we went there to bomb. Well, I mean Yeah. I yes went and, there yes to bomb. No. Right? Yes and no. Yeah. I can see it's making you a little nervous. Well, just because like I don't think you should in, no, I just don't think you should go with the intention of bombing. You should be prepared for it. Mm. Right. That's what I meant. Like yeah. I'm pre- I was definitely prepared to bomb. I mean, I felt we got like a few laughs from the two people that were there. That was nice. Yeah. I got more laughs in the... This is, this is not at all how I thought it was going to sound, but I got more laughs in the bathroom. Because <laughs> the bathroom was a very strange bathroom. Um, Dude, the urinal was right next to the sink. It's like, it's almost under the sink. Yeah, it's way too close for comfort. And I was talking to a guy who was washing his hands while I was being. Yeah. And I was like, hey man, I think that's another urinal. <laughs> <laughs> and then also there was a toilet and then I, later on again i found him in the bathroom again i had to pee a lot yesterday and um and i told the guy i go it'd be weird if someone was taking a shit in here huh because <laughs> there's no door <laughs> there's nothing it's just there and like even if you were to sit on that toilet bowl most of your legs would be out <laughs> so someone would see your knees and like 100 assume that you're you're taking a shit they should remove the seat yes that way people aren't tempted to sit <laughs> so where would people shit not there go home <laughs> go home that's hate street on in san francisco it's also san francisco though so you could shit outside uh, and it's completely normal does not matter if you're homeless or have a home it's weird if you shit in the toilet that's why they do that dude san francisco's such a weird place you're chopping it up with those drunk dudes outside oh man i met some crazy dudes outside. you guys are all hammered me being stone sober because i had had a drink for like an, an hour yeah just watching four of you guys pretty hammered <laughs> talking about <laughs> some <laughs> crazy stuff well one dude was like i'm always attracting satanists and i was like I- i'm a satanist and he was like well this is what i'm talking about and then some other dude handed me a bible and so i was reading passages out of the bible just at random uh-huh. uh, and then there was like a third guy who was like a middle man somewhere between the two of us it was just weird seeing you guys interact it was a weird it all those the guys morning. look like um union plumbers they kind of do yeah especially the bigger guy the bigger guy looked like a boss in a <laughs> mario game he looks like what mario's based on <laughs> if mario just really let himself go and stopped plumbing no he's still plumbing <laughs> welcome 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 wow <laughs> Uh, welcome to another episode of ICBTB's Highly Irrelevant. It's just your boys in the studio. I was going to try and say all of that backwards, but I can't. Yeah, that's a, that's a mouthful. Uh, baddies. It's a full mouth. It's uh, still Halloween. Alejandro is still uh, shooketh to his core from these horror films. <sighs> I'm watching so many right now. I'm watching horror films that aren't even part of the podcast. Now, isn't it building up your tolerance for the horror genre? Because you're probably not even watching the scariest of the scariest. I think I'm watching some pretty scary scaries. Yeah, but maybe to you right now, but there's some horrible stuff out there. I'm, um... What? I'm not hating it, but I'm not necessarily enjoying it. Mm, Okay. Would love to watch, like, a James Bond film here or there. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, sprinkle it around. You you have to... Just horror films. That's it? That's all I've been watching. You just watch something on your own time. I did watch the new Sopranos movie. Yes, you were talking about this. That's fun. Man, dude. I, I, that's that's something I want to binge the Sopranos for is to just be able to watch that. I, like I said, though, I think you could watch the movie before you watch the show and still like enjoy because it. Because it is a prequel. Yeah. 
Yeah. And then you'd be like, wow, this is cool. And then you're like, it is fun, though, because like all the old guys are young in this one. And you're just like, oh, and so that's what Polly Walnuts looked like. Wait, uh, as different actors or is no, it different makeup? Actors, yeah. Okay, I was going to say. Like John Bernthal's in it. Yes, yes, John Bernthal. He just did a Hot Ones. I watched that. That was hilarious. He's a cool guy, man. He's funny. Yeah, to see, because he's usually playing a villainous character. Like in The Walking Dead, he yeah. was the first antagonist, one of the first. Well, pretty I mean, badass. No, only if Rick didn't come back. Mm. Imagine how good the story would have been if Rick never came back. No, uh, the, the the that was the biggest conflict of season one was the fact that he came back to see that his best friend was with his wife. Mm-hmm. Right. But if Rick didn't come back, then they could have just had a happily life, live happily ever after. <laughs> then the season would end, and the show would end, and it would just be about them surviving surviving zombies rather than each other. I would watch that show. I, zombies are kind of getting played out for me, though. How do you feel about that? I think zombies are going the way of the 1980s ninja. It's after The Walking Dead was one of the last things to really take the zombie genre in a new direction because the real antagonists were not just mm. the zombies. The real antagonists were the humans that you had to interact with. So like Negan and the governor. Um, and that eye patch guy and Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah, yes, that's the, the, exactly those people. Black Summer is another zombie show that Summer. is on Netflix, and oh, it's really it's really good in my opinion because it it takes the whole zombie genre and once again it's making the issues more so with the humans the that you interact with. Yeah. And what I appreciate with Black Summer is that it's able to just bring the horror out of just one fast moving zombie as opposed to a horde which like has a time mm. and place but like there are episodes where it'll be one guy running away from one fast running zombie for the entire episode no word spoken no dialogue it's just him booking it it's just like a, a steady cam of him like running <laughs> <laughs> basically that's what the episode was was just him escaping and the entire time what? you're putting yourself in his shoes that's terrifying like, I know that you're scared of these movies, but push comes to shove. Zombie apocalypse. How far are you getting? Pretty far. Okay. First move. Kill the person next to me. What? Yeah. Take what they have. Make it mine. That doesn't make any sense. Or just share the stuff depending on no, where you are. No, no, no. There's no rules now with the zombie invasion. Are you, have you not paid attention to The Walking Dead? No, there are rules. Negan figured it out. Have a team. Negan have a team of people that you trust. Oh, have a group that follows you blindly. I guess you're not going to be in my squad then. If like I've recently made the decision that I'm actually going to try during the apocalypse. Because I was just going to say, up until now, you've almost always been like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was just like, it's too depressing if there's zombies everywhere. I want to try it. Shoot me now. Shoot me now. People are like, no, Christian, it was just a joke. And you're like, oh, oh. Oh. Well, I just, it's, it is just depressed. I don't want to see my loved ones die. Baddies, thanks for tuning into the show. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Wild Heart Stones. Mm -hmm. um, if you need some fossils, gems, and sage, we have a website for you. That's right. My friend Kyle, she's promised to bring us the best self-collected, self-selected, and treasure gems to you, uh, all at very reasonable prices on her website, wildheartstones.com. Uh, Kyle and her father have been digging up these rocks all her life. Her dad was a geology professor back in the day, and they used to go to rock shows. They pretty much know everything that rock. <laughs> nice. Um, you guys could save 15% on all of your purchases. Just use promo code ICBTB at checkout. And a link to the website will be down in the description. Or you can find it on our website at ICBTB.com. Thank you guys so much. Wildheartstones.com. Yeah, check Thank them out. Thank you, Kyle. Enjoy the show. Um, I've been wanting to tell you something, and I've been keeping this a secret from you for like about two weeks. What? But um, I'm going to be on TV. What? <laughs> um, I recently auditioned maybe three or four weeks ago to be on a game show with Jay Leno. Hell yeah. And I got through all of the rounds and I, last week I couldn't record because I had to go to LA and I went to LA because I had to meet Jay Leno. I met Jay Leno. I was on this game show and I won some money. What? I'm legally obligated to not uh, flesh out any of the details, but I can't say that I went on this game show. It's uh, called you bet your life and he's doing it. with You Kevin. bet your life. Yes. For the the old Carl uh, um, Grou Groucho Marx, yeah, one, yeah, they're Jay Leno's redoing it. Holy shit, Christian! Yeah, dude. So um, I'll probably have about like seven to ten minutes of airtime. I don't know when it's gonna be released. I just have to keep. Oh, watching you can't. The show. I was gonna say, would you have to? Is it a trivia thing? Is it a? It's a trivia thing. So it's it's five questions, 
four questions with a secret word and a, a double or nothing question secret at the end. Did you, you can't say. I can't say. I can't say anything about that. I can't say anything about the backstage if, experiences. If what? you hit the secret word, blink. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just say I did win some money, but I can't ruin the magic. No, I can't wait to see any people. There. Are we gonna have like a watch party? I want to watch it first and make oh. sure I don't look like a fucking dumbass. No, it was. Are you, what? Wouldn't it be crazy if like they did edit it around it and just make you look like a complete asshole? <laughs> They're like, yeah, we'll pay you that money and shit, but we're gonna edit it to make you look like a douche, and you're just like. <laughs> They like stitch together uh, different words, so I say something out of pocket, it gets me canceled. Every time you talk, the camera's not on you because they had to like f- audio fix it. Yeah. And so like when the camera does get to you, just like, did you hear Christian say the N word <laughs> off camera? It did sound like they put all those letters together though, didn't it? It's crazy, <laughs> but I didn't know he was a flaming racist. A flaming racist. <laughs> well, they did light him on fire for the game. I did meet some interesting people there. Apparently, game show hopping is a thing because I oh, was sure. t- talking to individuals who were like, I was on The Price is Right and on, on, I was on Family Feud yeah. three times. Nice. Because once you... Uh, give your information to the casting agencies that uh, that they they have you in there. They have you in that system. Yeah. They circulate your information, and if they they you don't really have to audition as much because they know exactly how you are on screen, on camera, and like if you're entertaining or not. So the some people that uh, I met, some other contestants, they were poached uh, from oh. other. Uh, <laughs> I know out of context, it makes no sense. Imagine them just like sitting in a boiling water. <laughs> boiling water. <laughs> Or just running through the the jungles of Africa and getting... <laughs> oh, being illegally hunted. That kind of poach. <laughs> that kind of poach, yeah. But <laughs> it was like the the whole shebang was crazy. Wow. Did hair and makeup, which boosted and uh, deflated my ego simultaneously. When, they, when you sat down in the makeup chair... Where they're like, oh, we need the dark makeup and like <laughs> no, no, had to no, get no, a no. different like tackle box of makeup. The first. Um, this is awesome. I did hair at first. And so I sat down and the guy, there was, it was like this like super nice gay guy. And he was so <laughs> sweet. And the first thing he did was like, he took this like airbrush and he covered up like the weak spot of my hairline. Whoa. And he was like, we could cover that up. And I'm like, whoa, that's the first thing you did. Thanks. I didn't realize it was that noticeable. Well, I mean, on TV, everything shows up. Yes. Yeah. So and then that's he, fun. He flattened my hair a bunch, and so I look like a fucking goob. Flattened your hair? What it's do you like, mean? Because I like. Yeah, I like you have it to the be, puff. Yeah. Uh, I, oh, you can't have puffier hair than Leno, bro. I guess so. That's but probably it's not, what it was. Uh, was it, is it a hierarchy? Because Conan has puffier hair than Leno. Well, and look what happened to Conan and Leno. <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Makeup. The woman was so nice. She was just like. You're going to be so easy, hun. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. You're like, my girlfriend says the same thing. <laughs> you're going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> and so what she... Did you do a lot of um, makeup? She just put like a little bit of foundation. Rouge, a little blush. Not yet. <laughs> just a pretty little doll little on TV. Lipstick. It was like, in... I don't understand this joke. <laughs> it's just Leno making fun of you. Does he have a co-host? He has a co-host. Kevin who? Eubanks, who was the leader Kevin of... Kevin Eubanks. Yeah, the leader of the band. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, or The Tonight Show, yeah. So he was super cool. I mean, they were both really cool. Jay Leno was, like, pretty down to earth. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Did you sing for them? No. Were no, you like, no, Leno, no. I got a song for you. Look, be a lady <laughs> tonight. I'm, I don't want to divulge too much, but they did ask me about my previous occupations, uh, specifically focusing on, like, me being a wedding singer for a few years. Oh, and nice. Me being a, an announcer for the animal shows at Six Flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... That. That's awesome, dude. Dude, did you was... get to drive in one of his cars? <laughs> did he no. pull up in a cool car? <laughs> Breaks through the set in one in, of his vintage vehicles. The steam powered car that he has, or <laughs> maybe the the jet propelled motorcycle, <laughs> or the tank because he owns a tank as well. That guy, I really wanted to make a joke and like ask if I could have one of his cars or some shit. He because goes, eh, no, what you're thinking the entire time is like, what can I say to these two people that have been in the industry for like these two people that you've seen on TV for so long? What can I say to them? for them to remember me right mm. because he goes through 50 contestants out. what <laughs> <laughs> then the episode never airs i get sued and then like but they'll remember you i guess so for bad reasons but um we made it we were the wow. last shooting of that season so you're on the season oh well maybe not i was gonna say you're on the season finale who knows who no knows they're, they, they release it um they don't release it in chronological order, so I could yeah, air yeah. tomorrow. I could air. In, uh, Do you two know months. where it's going to air on television? It's on, on television, network television. I think Fox. Wow. 
Yeah. You can see clips on YouTube. Wow. Which is crazy. You should apply. I'll apply. Because uh, season two, I think they might be taking season two applications pretty soon. Also, we should apply for The Floor is Lava. <laughs> yes! 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 I want to do like a Netflix game show, or I want to apply for like The Circle or something. My cousin, I had a cousin who who did a couple of game shows. He did one with um, Steve-O. Steve-O had that game show for a little while on like the, the game show network. Mm. Um, and my cousin did that one. Like that, that's fun. Uh, my cousin Jeff was always trying to do that. Like he was at the prices right a couple of times, but a lot of times it's like, all right, what would you look like if you won? You'd be like, yeah, and they always pick the people who like do the craziest shit because they're the people who look the best on TV. Yeah. Fortunately for me, I'd be like, yeah. You would have to for you to get picked though. You got to do the thing. They they want energetic people. Of course. So like, there's a balance of they don't want performers. So mm. like, we can't be our improv selves. We have to be like. Ourselves. ourselves but Jinx. also we can't be our ourselves selves. We, we have, have to be a little bit of improvers we have to be like our caffeinated selves our excited caffeinated a little nervous selves yeah first date selves Ooh, that's a good way to put it yeah yeah excited nervous been practicing all night i think you should do it i think you are you getting nervous now about this application that you haven't even opened what, up what if they say no <laughs> no stop i don't know if i can take that kind of rejection well you want to be an actor we gotta we gotta start no, applying for a bunch gonna of different say yes to me christian <laughs> they're all i'm just that's too, why i just haven't done it yet because i'm good looking i'm picking the role <laughs> once i pick the role then they'll have to say yes Let's start auditioning for commercials. That's okay. something I really want to do, though. Did you see, speaking of commercials, did you see Jules' commercial? Yes! Shout out to Jules. She's the one that, like, sent me the application for the Jay Leno thing. That's awesome. And then, like, um, we were saying that you should do it for season two. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Man. Um, also, if anybody has connections with the floors, lava people, please let us know. <laughs> I think we just I think we just apply through Netflix yes. for any of those. Because I tried, like, last year, I tried applying for The Circle. Oh, and, yeah. But I need a passport, so I have to. Oh. I have to get a passport. You should first. definitely. You should. That's that should definitely be on your list of things to do. I applied for Survivor a couple of times. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do, would you survive? I would kill it at Survivor, bro. You think so? Hell yeah. You don't think you get voted off? Uh, I mean, that's part of you know. Because it's, it's a popularity contest too. I'm fairly popular. Yeah, but like <laughs> you, you could win some people over, but, mm, but you're gonna make some enemies with of course, power, dude. Of course, but that's why you surround yourselves with idiots. It's tribal politics is what Survivor was. My first, before even understanding what real world politics was, my first introduction to politics was watching Survivor right after American Idol back in 2004. Watching people be like, uh, yeah, we told him to vote you off. And then they walk in like, fuck Daniel, he's out of here. Dude, it's messed up. <laughs> it's messed up. I, I, and I'm going to be a dick, but that's why I think maybe you wouldn't be good at Survivor. Oh, yeah. I get. But I would totally stab somebody in the back. Yeah, for sure. Especially I mean, for a million dollars. It's the game. I'd stab you in the front for a million dollars. It's the game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think you should do stuff like I Love New York. I think you would have been so funny as a contestant <laughs> on I Love New York. <laughs> I want to do, I wouldn't mind doing like ugly love show guy. You know what I mean? Because no. like whenever they do like a love show contestant where it's like, this is Samantha. Here are eight dudes. There's always one kind of ugly normal looking dude. Hmm. I'd like to be that guy. Be the the normal, but you're still over six feet tall. You still have some leverage in terms of physique. So that's the only thing. Yeah, but like, imagine putting me there, like short, burnt, like. But you'd be there because you're the singing guy. Oh, I guess I don't know. I, that's something that <laughs> I don't want to. Wow, you looked really upset about that. Because I didn't want to be. There were so many people that sang that were practicing their singing backstage for the Jay Leno thing that I was just really? like, I feel like this is a common thing that people just want to perform on there yeah of course but i'd rather be liked for just like what my real personality was and i i tried to express that as best as possible nice nice yeah. and how many of the producers did you blow dude there was just like so many penises around me no, none none um you blew a nun <laughs> the, it was it was a good experience I, but they, that's so awesome dude. they flew me in on uh wednesday i taped on thursday and they flew me back thursday night so it was just like an in and out type of thing that's awesome though it was i wish i wanted to spend another day doing what sightseeing yeah i just i mean it was i was in la <laughs> i would have I yeah. been down to rent a car and just drive around and do my own thing hell yeah that's um, fun though that's that's a really cool that's awesome yeah and it's uh i kind i would i would want to do other game shows i think i'd be pretty down for it 
Well, I mean, we practice on our show all the time, guessing numbers and stuff like that. So, and you've gotten a lot better at guessing things. Yeah, but like, let's say for the Price Is Right, for example, I have a bad, uh, I don't know, a bad intuition of like what something costs. Like this plastic mm. skull right here, probably from Party City. Yes. Two dollars. Five. Five dollars. See, Party City's always it's over. Well, I mean, but but you know what you're good at? What? This or that. Oh, I right? guess so. This like, or that. Yeah, right. See this little string thing. Right? Okay. Sure. Huh? Which hand is it in? <laughs> Are you doing a magic trick on me? I'm What's just saying. One? Look and see. That's, <laughs> what? That's, that's half. Of, that's half of the game, anyways. Here, try it again. Which hand is it in? It's on this one. Yeah. See what the fuck? I wasn't even paying it. To- what? It's nowhere. <laughs> Man, I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would it have been if Leno at the end of it was like, hey, uh, so you're kind of a piece of shit, but... Um, hey, was, uh, yeah, hey you're kind of a piece of shit. You know how he started doing comedy? It was for the mafia. Really? Yeah, he used to do stand-up for the mafia. So he was like a jester. <laughs> like, yeah, literally like a court jester. Like, he would like go to the bars and stuff like that where the Italians would hang out and like he would just like do stand-up there. That's the type of open mics we should be doing. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> but the stakes are high, and I'm pretty sure... Would they Nothing let us both a- on stage at the same time? I, I bet you they would hate it. <laughs> I bet like, you if we did that act, they who, would hate it. All these fucking two scumbags here. Why don't you two go about back for a second? We'll talk to you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got we got a little uh, present for you oh, for doing okay. such a wonderful set. Wow, that's so nice boom, of them. Boom, boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was, uh, I forget what I was watching, but somewhat, it was like a gangster film where they suffocated someone with a plastic bag. And my immediate reaction was, wouldn't you just poke a hole in the plastic bag so you could breathe? that mouth hole right hmm. i never mean i thought about that oh I, <laughs> that's never crossed your mind being someone that whose favorite movie is goodfellas yeah 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 yeah. no because usually their hands are tied or they're getting punched also when they put the bag on them no it's usually like when you're in the front seat of a car they do, do it the from bag. behind i've seen that with yeah, like plastic I, have, bags. Yeah, I have seen somebody but, but oh. i just i've been watching shameless and they recently put a bag over someone's head trying to kill them in shameless mm. and it just <laughs> didn't work at all and it's kind of silly because well, it's fun. kind of like a comedy, a comedy it is show. a weird comedy i don't like it the sex makes me uncomfortable there's there's a lot of it but that's because it's a showtime show yeah, so that's a showtime show whenever it's premium cable you gotta you gotta show a little bit sex sells and it always will and i also like to imagine that dad is the same dad from jurassic park 3 <laughs> so I just like to William imagine, H Macy. Yeah. So I just like to imagine after they got off the island in Jurassic Park three, he was just like fuck it and just like went into like a deep depression and started having all these kids. And then boom, that's who he is. That's boom, Frank. Yeah. That's Frank. Yep. Used to be a dentist. Um, I want to talk about. Do you think you could do the circle? I don't. I don't. I never watched the circle. I don't know. I know it's a oh. social media based game. Is that correct? Where you could catfish. Where oh, you, could... I, you know what? I have watched an episode of that. No. It's you don't think you could do that? I mean, I mean, social media is weird in general. You know, sure. I'm bad about social media. Yeah, so probably I'm bad at like yeah. But you could manipulate that. I could be, but I can manipulate people in person. Ah, so when you get rid of all the body language, yeah, and the it's body, all gone. The physical man. cues. That's why I hate calling people on the phone. Oh, <laughs> that's that's hard. You can't you can't really sell something through the phone. No, sell me through the phone. If I were to do it, I think I would catfish, catfish. as Fat Christian. Because I feel like... Oh, no, dude. If you're going to catfish, you should go even crazier. Like, catfish as, like, Amanda Bynes 2004. No. No. <laughs> no. The second season of uh, The Circle, Lance Bass is one of the contestants. Except it's not Lance Bass. It's Lance Bass's uh, assistant manager. Whoa. Uh, pretending to be him. Because she knows everything about him. Of course. Because she's been her been his assistant for so long. So that's interesting. What if you pretended to be me? Do you think you could pretend to be me? I, okay, no, because I'm not good at social media. But I do think you could be good at pretending to be me. I think so. Yeah, I think you could pretty easily like catfish as me, and then it would be like, man, fuck this guy. And you're like, just kidding. It's me. I think you wear a mask in this game. I'm not actually sure how this goes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, they you never are, see you. You are me from the moment that you apply <laughs> till they cut recording, and then they'll be like, wow, Alejandro, that was good. And like, you know, it's even better. I have you all fooled. I wish it could work that easily, but honestly, I could just walk in and just say, I'm going to be my friend. I'm going to be my best friend. Just like do the thing. <laughs> yeah, just do the you're, you're You're creating so many different obstacles. Wipeout. Would you want to do Wipeout, speaking of obstacles? Which one's Wipeout again? Wipeout's the one with the big red balls. Big red balls? Yeah, you got to like jump and stuff and like things are coming at you. And oh, you is gotta... it like funny Ninja Warrior? Exactly. It's it's 
literally American Ninja Warrior before we had American Ninja Wait, Warrior. Wait, is it the one where the two Asian commentators from like Japan are? No, I believe dubbed? it's John Cena and um, doing Wipeout. Yes, hmm. I believe John Cena and Nicole Byers. Oh, okay. I'm familiar. I believe they are the new hosts of Wipeout. Mm, uh, sure. I think I'd do it. I'd much rather do The Floor is Lava. <sighs> that seems fun. My question about The Floor is Lava is, uh, where do they go? <laughs> I, th- I think there's like a, a sewage system. <laughs> a food disposal system. <laughs> Chops you up at the bottom. And honestly, the stakes are... It's it's basically real life squid game. <laughs> I think that, that's hilarious. That's actually good, good, good. Um... I like to think, though, or I know, though, it's like a TV show, so that means it's just some dude, like, just off camera, like, waist deep in the water, mm-hmm. waiting for one of them to fall in, and then he has to, like, <gasps> hold his breath, like, pull him down really slowly, and then they have to, like, wait a second, and then they have to cut the camera, and then they all get up and, like, dry off and shit. I bet yeah. you it's, it's always going to be lamer than it actually is, and then in post it looks super cool and funny. Yeah. But they make the lava look pretty good. They, it's, I mean, orange water scares me. Do you think it's light? Yeah, it's... Mm, Lights and food, food coloring. coloring. Yeah. Oh, so you can eat the lava. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Once you get in there, that's how you get out. You have to drink everything. Uh, brought my dog. We went, I went camping last week. and nice. um, Brought my dog with me and my girl. And we were on the beach. And my dog was trying to eat all the water from the lake uh, because she didn't want to swim. It she was, was really cute. Trying to get rid of the water. She's a smallish dog. She's a medium-sized dog. Yeah. She's a staffy. Um, but my cousin brought his dog. Um, a Newfoundland, mm. which is only a year old, that dog, um, but Ooh, already pop. weighs over 100 pounds. Whoa. And his paws are, I'm not even kidding, this big. Whoa. Huge dog. Um, and he is a avid swimmer because he's a Newfoundland. That's what they do is they swim constantly. So he would go deep, like far into the lake and then like swim back. Mm-hmm. And Maddie, my dog, at first was like, oh, yeah, I could do that too. But can't because there's no float in a staffy because they're all muscle, no fat. And like mm-hmm. paws are very small. Mm-hmm. And so she like Aww. fell and like got splashed and didn't really understand what Freaking was happening. Out. So for the rest of the time we had her in a life jacket, she was just on the beach barking at everybody. We called it playing lifeguard. Oh where she was like, gosh. you guys, be careful. Be careful in there. Be careful. There's water. There's water over there. And Why? She is so adorable. Uh, Maddie's the cutest. She's cute. The way she acts is like a little baby, though. She acts like, oh, she's the best. Yeah, dude. I was cuddling with her this morning. And that's when I texted you. I was like, can I bring Maddie? And you're like, no, not, not today. And I was like, which is fine. Which is fine. That's not the thing. Yeah. But I was also just like, of course. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, it was just one of those things where you're just like I get holding it, the dog. And then they like look at you and you're just like. It's so difficult for me sometimes <laughs> to leave those dogs downstairs. Because like, especially if my mom's not home, she's out for groceries. And they're like looking at me. They're like, are we, so are we coming with you or what? <laughs> they're like, I don't understand why no one's here. Why is this gate here? What do we <laughs> Why do we? Why do we have clothes on us? Or do you think as soon as you leave and it's empty, they're all just like, God damn? When do you think? Fucking <sighs> man, they're talking. It's the secret life of pets in real life. After all, the humans leave, but they're all gruff, like Nor- uh, Norwegian, New Jersey men. Yes, Gumo. I think Gumo is a, a Chinaman. A, no, 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 no. I think Gumo is a d- <laughs> weird way to call it. You mean a Chinese man? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said what you said. <laughs> Um, I think Kumo would be the dog embodiment of Ian McKellen because he's old and gay. <laughs> yeah. Like I think I've said before, Kumo only likes to, likes to hump other guy dogs. Very not common. Not interested in the puss at all. <laughs> I mean, most dogs don't like cats. I, I, I like to think that these dogs have their own little voices whenever I do leave. What do you think, uh, like a general conversation between Halo and panda halo and panda. uh i think they're they're pretty comfortable they're i bet your like, panda's just like when are we gonna get fed again yeah. this is my treat get the fuck away from my treat right this is my carrot nub yeah they just there's just a bunch of carrot nubs downstairs your dogs eat strange food i tried to feed maddie spaghetti once and she looked at me like i was a psychopath my mom how does she get your dogs to eat spaghetti <sighs> with a fork no less i don't i don't know I'll just see spaghetti on the floor in the dog bowl. And I'm like, that's not mine. <laughs> These dogs are eating so good. You're just like, Mom, I did my chores. I don't understand why I have to eat on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on all fours just straight up eating out of the bowl. And all the dogs are sitting at the table with little bibs on. <laughs> and I bark at them. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from my bowl. Get, Get away. the fuck away. Slam your face into the water uh, bowl. I just wonder how it would look like if they were like shaved, normal looking. They're, I think they just look like naked mole wraps if they were shaved. A naked mole rat the size of Pando would be terrifying. Horrible. Horrible. 
That's like something that you would fight in a video game. Kill it with fire is what I would say. <laughs> yes. It seems like uh, if any of those dogs were shaved, they look like they would probably exist in medieval times. What do you think the scariest shaved animal would be? <laughs> uh, a polar bear? I mean, they're all just, that's scary, unshaved. <laughs> Very true. A shaved polar bear. Now that would look like a naked mole rat with a black nose. Mm-hmm. That's why when pandas lay down, they cover their nose. Do they really? Mm-hmm. Man, pandas they are... Know, they the, know their nose doesn't match. But pandas are some... They're they're fierce motherfuckers. You're talking I about mean, polar, polar bears. bears. Polar bears cover their noses. Oh, pandas don't hunt. Don't match. Okay. Pandas just kill for fun. That's actually a fact. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're fierce. Yeah. They're so cute. And koalas. That's why they, and like, that's why they have to keep giving koalas those eucalyptus leaves, because it makes them stoned. And then they're just chilling they're just like, after yeah. that. But literally, you take one away, and they start screaming, Oh, a shaved koala would be terrifying. Why do koalas have chlamydia? It's just a bunch of... Like, why? Orgies. They just love raves. Well, is that? <laughs> do they really have a bunch of orgies? Because I could imagine some. I, I think their body is just you know they they're just uh... just easy for them to. Does it affect them or is it just something that you could get from a koala? I I am not a doctor. I don't think you can get koala chlamydia as a human because we're different animals. I think you could get it. I think no, like you can't get feline AIDS. Well, cl- what type of STI is chlamydia? I don't know anything about chlamydia. Man. Except for the fact that koalas have it. Yeah, that's all I that's know. That's all I know I about chlamydia. I don't know anyone with chlamydia. And that one joke, well, I bet you we do. And that one joke where they're like, chlamydia. I would have liked to name my daughter that if it wasn't such a gross thing. Because it's kind of a pretty name. <laughs> Chlam- like, chlamydia. It's, it, is, it, it does have like a nice little ring to it. It's because it's Latin. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Aren't I don't most, think it's Latin. Aren't most diseases Latin? I don't know. Corona, influenza. Okay, those yes, but cold. then like chlamydia, <laughs> syphilis, Latin, Latin, like the ancient Latin Aztec, not just like a Latin man saying the word. <laughs> Latin X, <laughs> Latin X, <laughs> Latin X. Uh, I think we, we, what? Oh, I was just gonna say before we do our improv show thing. Wouldn't it be cool if instead of replacing A's and O's with an X, we just replace it with a random letter? So it'd be like Latinage. <laughs> that make it, that's just convoluting the situation. A it's little already more. convoluted. I mean, X is they is because it's a variable like used in math. I think that's why. why. <laughs> Latini. <laughs> I'm Latini. I'm Latini. <laughs> I'm Latini, but just a little. <laughs> I'm Filipini. <laughs> I don't I'm like Frenchy. It's like it just makes it look cuter. <laughs> it makes the word look cute. I'm Polishy. Polishy. Yeah. Rushy. I'm Rushy. I'm Rushy. I'm Kazakhstani. Oh, that works. That actually works. All right, let's do an improv. Scene. I think they're actually called Kazakhstanis. Really? A, a person from Kazakhstan. Oh, like someone from Pakistan is a Pakistani. Mm. Ah. ah. Awesome. Kazakhstan. Yagamash. All, right. All right, ladies and gents, you know what the shit happens. Babies. What? All right. Mr. Balthazar, go ahead and have a seat right here. Okay. Um, you are applying for the game show, Who Has Toes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you're aware that we may be cutting off toes in this show? I My family really needs money. Uh, it's been a very hard year, and I'm... You know, there's organ donors out there. Why can't I just? I've, I have ten toes, so very good. Very I have good. a few to give away. Do you have a perfect ranger? Like, uh, how many toes would you like to leave today with? Oh, I didn't realize I had a choice. I thought I would have to play. I mean, I would like to leave with Ideally. potentially all of them. Well, that's just not going to happen. Okay, so at least one. You want to leave with at least well, one? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm a little. I did. I, I rushed through the application. What are the clearly. rules of the game? Uh, well, I mean, the Cheeto fingerprints prove it alone. Okay, well, I'll reread it to you because clearly you didn't read it. Rule number one: there will be no socks or shoes allowed in the building. That makes sense. Rule in number two: yeah, take a look. Okay, everyone. Oh my gosh, everyone's barefoot. Okay. Number two: contestants must and will have toes removed from their foot, either left and or right. Including but not limited to this little piggy that went to the market, this little piggy that had roast beef, and this little piggy that had none, but also this little piggy who went wham 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 all the way home. Well, I'm 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 confused. I never really had that uh that that child jingle read to me when I was a kid. So I don't know what I I just know my pinky toe, my ring toe, my middle toe. Oh well, pop your little pumpkin up here, right here. I'll show you. Okay, I'll put it on. 
No, go ahead. Put your put your put your foot over here, right? Go ahead. Put your foot right here. So go, go ahead. That's really far. Can my, my foot? Just, here, I'll hold it. I'm okay. Put your feet in my hands. I'm okay. Well, well, here at Feet Feet Feet, we need to know if you have the right amount of toes. So, can I feel? That's the name of the studio. Is Feet Feet Feet? Well, yeah, we do all feet based shows. I thought Quentin Tarantino owns us. Cut to other feet based shows. Ah, Mister Mister Schmiggle. That's that's me. It's Irish. Well. Oshmiggle, excuse me, Mr. Oshmiggle. Yes, Oshmiggle. Um, we are here at Who's Got the Foot? Yes. Uh, where we are tasting feet to see who it belongs to. My, it's been it's been a very hard year. <laughs> been a very hard year for my family and me. And so I need to I need to I need the money. Cut to the cut to the next show before I fuck up this Irish accent even more. John Smith, welcome. Welcome into the Toes or Bows, where we try to tie toes into bows. I'm, I'm gonna leave because that's actually <laughs> the show's gonna get canceled. Cut to the it's next. Not even a good premise. Cut to the next one. Okay. Hi, Mr. Hello. Middleton. Yes. Um, welcome to Foot Fetish Festival. Oh. Where? Yeah, okay. <laughs> we're just gonna document your time walking around the Foot Fetish Festival. Cut to the next one. All right. So we have the Foot Fetish Festival going on next door, but right here we have the Fetish Foot Festival. It's the same fucking, same fucking. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> All right, that's fine. All right, everybody cut, does. Cut back to the original game show. Yeah, I I've, of all the options that were available, I think this is the one I really wanted to apply for. So. Yeah, well, Ten Toes No Blows is our highest selling show that we have. Are you familiar with Simon Cowell? Yeah, of course. Today he's our celebrity hacker. He's gonna be hacking your toes off. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. Don't look him in the eye, and if you smile for too long, he will take more than the toes. All right, cut to the actual game show. Hi, my name my name's Christian. Uh, uh, used to be a wedding singer. Used to be an announcer at an amusement park. I'm so excited here, Simon. Cut. Excuse me, Christian. Yeah. When you um do the interview, would you mind looking at the camera? Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah go yeah, ahead. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Yeah. Hi, my name's Christian Baltazar. Um, and I so excited to be on. Ten toes, no blows. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, cameraman. You, you, the camera's shaking. You can't be <laughs> laughing. What did I say? Right? Um, I'm the one who calls cut. Cut. I'm the director, not a cameraman. And the cameraman, you're literally holding the camera. I both. What is this establishment? Um, cut, cut to <laughs> Christian being the world winner of Ten Toes, No Blows. Uh, and we cut to a, a, a stage. Mm. Similar to the Ed Sullivan stage where the where the Beatles were playing, except instead of levels and musical instruments, it's just like a bunch of rusty knives and blades mm-hmm. uh, and a hacksaw. Uh, and Simon Cowell is there crying because he's never met such beautiful toes. Well, this is my banana toe. <laughs> this is so perfect. Scene. <laughs> scene, scene, scene. Did that not sound like Simon Cowell? I don't know. You're crying and kind of hyperventilating, so I couldn't really tell. And he doesn't really cry much. I bet you... Um, no, I bet you he does cry. Um, have you ever been on WikiFeet? No. But you're familiar with WikiFeet, right? No, I'm not. You don't know what that is? No. They, like, take celebrity feet and rank them out of 10. Out of t- 10 being the best. Yeah, like, 10 being the best. Here, like, if, let me... Give me a celebrity, and I'll see if their feet are well, well, on... Do you know, like, who has the best feet? No clue. Probably Uma Thurman. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just only know that because of Kill Bill and she moves her toes. All right. Give me a celebrity. Salma Hayek. Yeah. Her feet are probably here. I think you see her feet in uh, From Dusk Till Dawn. Yeah. Her feet are in here. They, they must be. I, I did find like um, on poop.com. <laughs> you can see like different types. And you're making of- fun of wikifeet.com? Why? Who's going to poop.com? How old are you? And why are you searching that up? It was a high school thing. Okay. Because I wanted to see if poop.com was a thing. You um, don't ever just type in random words and then go dot .com? Uh, no, not really, because that, the internet's dangerous. The internet's so dangerous. Silver cars and bars, dot com. Here, uh, Salma Hayek has a rating of five out of five stars. Uh, parentheses, gorgeous feet. Let me see this thing. Give um, me this thing. But there are like almost no pictures of her feet. It's just a lot of pictures of... Oh, I can... Here. Well, there's no like close-ups of her feet. It's just all these stills. are jowls. Oh, the the oh, okay, okay. Stills from scenes from movies. This is so weird. Yeah, yeah. Hey, people, like, 
People you, you like know, feet. You know why? Uh, why? Because the part of your brain that is in charge of like what we're sexually attracted to is right next to the part of our brain that knows what feet looks like. Huh. So sometimes the... So it's it's... It's just like we put the boxes next to each other, and sometimes the stuff gets into each other. That's interesting, because I'm not really turned on by feet, so no, it's not no, everyone. No, no, no. No, it's not. But I know some people. I have a coworker who has a foot fetish, and he was talking to me about like how his like four-year-old son likes feet, and he was asking me if fetishes are hereditary, and I don't know. And I don't, I I don't want to ask my dad what he's into and see if it lines up. Dad, you like big titty milfs? Yeah, because because I like I super big titty milfs. Big dad. titty milfs. Um, speaking. <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> what? No, go. You're you're here already. Speaking uh, of what? Are you familiar with the show Mortgage or Marriage on Netflix? It's something that I'd probably not watch. It's actually that's what I would say. Because why do you want to publicize that potential conflict? Because it's a game show where they have like a real estate agent and a wedding planner. And then they have couples come in and then they're like, we're going to give you the wedding of your dreams. Or we're going to help you find the house of your dreams. And then you have to decide, do you want the house, house. or the marriage? House. Sometimes they pick. They don't always pick that. Stupid. Well, yeah, there's some tax benefits with getting married and like, sure, the whole... Sacrament of it is dope, but forget a fucking house. You need a roof over your head, food on the table, and like. Yeah, well, hang on. They're not doing it for homeless people. They're doing it for people who are like homeless I'm, couples. I'm either gonna use thirty thousand dollars for a down payment yeah. or thirty thousand dollars for a wedding. For down payment, man. <laughs> Most people choose what houses, right? No wedding. What? You got to see the show. Oh, God. You gotta they got to the get show. their heads out no, of their sir. asses. They put some very Jump over a broom, wood. call it a day, and go get a house. Don't do that at your wedding. It's going to offend some people. <laughs> it's, not, it's not for you to do. Wait, why? The broom jumping, it's, it's, a, it's, oh, a, is that a... it's a black person thing. It's, oh, it's a, it has shit. roots in... Didn't you see roots? Yeah, that's where I probably, my subconscious grabbed it from. <laughs> I meant no... I meant no... <laughs> Tie the knot. Tie tie the oh, Celtic knot. Oh, so now knot. it's a German thing. Oh, Celtic. Now it's an Irish thing. Yeah, sure. Do whatever. Here's how. Here's where I want my wedding. Okay. The Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Everybody has to pick a celebrity that's dead and go dig up the body. <laughs> what's up? What's going on with your brain? Are you okay? No. Are you okay? I'm really fucked up right now. <laughs> Just can't 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 get a grasp on life, sir. Oh man. Well, um. I think I think we should end it on this note. Yes, yes. As long as you trim some of the shit at the top, we should be good to go. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we'll be fine. Baddies, uh, thank you for so much for listening. As always, uh, comment, subscribe, follow. Get those algorithms going. Check out the website. I think by now, I sh- we don't have all the sizes for the shirts. They're still being done by Greg Soleil. Shout out to Splatter oh, yeah, Clothing. Check, check out our new shirts, But uh, if you hop on YouTube, you'll see the new two colors of our two new Splatted shirts it's in green and purple and they're pretty freaking dope yeah i don't know if we've come up with names for them that the green one i'm getting like a forest camouflage kind of look for it mm, yeah so maybe oh i guess you don't like that name okay. no not really i'd rather All go right. for spinach <laughs> that's not even attractive as well no spinach actually that made me kind of sick when you said that okay we'll figure it what out about, what about this i don't know that's just like a normal tie-dye grape juice sure we can call it co- <laughs> codeine We'll work on them. We watched the movie, guys, for Thursday. We watched a movie called The, the Grudge. Ring. You're, you're fucking with me. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> the Ring. Woo, guys, check out Christian's face. That's actually all. Check out, check out my face. Check out my face. Can you show the baddies your toes before we go? No, I'm actually very insecure about my feet. The only thing that makes me insecure about my feet what? is that they're so white because I wear socks and shoes all the time. They're white? Oh, yeah. that's not that bad, though. They're pretty white. You just get a tan. It's just that's just pigment. That's fixable. I have, you have white feet. I have wide feet. <laughs> uh, there was I. There was one time when that's I was getting a, I was getting a, a a checkup, a physical done when I was a kid, and the first thing my doctor said when I laid down, he was like, mm. he goes, "Can you take those swimming flippers off?" He was like, "Uh, double D feet." <laughs> what? <laughs> he called my feet double D feet. He used the sizing rubric. Of of boobies. boobies for feet, and I was that, offended. That doctor has a foot fetish. Yeah, my <laughs> doctor was Quentin Tarantino. Horrible doctor. <laughs> Great at giving tests. Um, and I think here's my theory as to why I 
I probably had wide feet is because I was a heavier set guy. So being on my feet just squash it down more. It's the uh, elephant paradox. Yes. Yes. I have elephant feet. You're the new elephant man. That's me. I'm pretty good looking to be the new elephant man. Bradley Cooper played the elephant man. Under all that makeup. But if I just look like this and it's just my feet that are fucked up, then okay, I'll be the new elephant man. And Michael Jackson will probably buy your bones. <sighs> That was a really like level six joke, but that's fun. <laughs> really, really deep in the. Hey, millennials, check out who the elephant man was. Google it, because I know nobody knows who that is anymore. <laughs> people know. Some people know. Okay, people all right, know. baddies. Uh, we'll see you guys on Thursday, or I'll see you sooner. No, Friday. Oh, Friday. That's right. Episodes drop on Friday. So sorry. That's right. Episodes drop on Friday. <laughs> Who's your idea? I know it's my idea. It's my idea, and it's made me so happy. I would have liked to drop them on Mondays. Yeah,